Today we're going to be working with a new patient who had never been in before, so she was gracious enough to let us film on her very first visit. But she comes in with some familial severe, severe calluses, and it's hereditary, and there's no cure, and the best that we can do is to manage them and trim them down as needed. So you'll see every surface of her foot that touches the ground or has pressure on it forms a callus and this is just some people have this so we're just going to be seeing her every one to two months to trim these down and keep her comfortable and that's the best that we can do so enjoy today's video Heel, show me your left heel. Yeah, that's pretty. Okay. Um, let's start with that big toe. Now, what do you do on a daily basis at home for these? Well, when he retired, I started. I I got that thing, and I was doing it, and I was putting up Eucerin every night on it. Okay. It's just if I am too lazy to do it, you know, so I've been trying. But they're bad. Now, since this is the first time we've met, mm -hmm. and these are pretty bad today, um, I'm going to let you tell me how deep is good. You said your mom has this, her mom has this, one of your kids has this. Mm -hmm. okay. yeah. yeah, these would be like walking on great big yeah. pieces of rock. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah, that's what my husband doesn't understand. And if anything I'm doing is hurting, you just let me know. Okay. So just out of curiosity, did the other doctor use this kind of blade also? It was a little thinner. A little thinner, okay. But that flat edge? Yep, the flat. Interesting, okay. Yeah, because you only ever see these kinds of blades in podiatry pretty much. They're called chisel blades. So you're using like a pet egg kind of thing at home, like a cheese grater kind of thing? Well, I have that, but it, I can't think of it's a, it. It works really well. It's an electronic thing. Oh, the Epome? Maybe, yeah, and it's like kind of uh, harder. Yeah, like a little sander? Yep. Okay. Yeah. Dremel? Not the Dremel, okay. but it, it's, it's similar to, to that. Yeah, there's the one they sell for uh, foot calluses. They, I think it's called Epome or something like that. I think that's what, I think that's what yeah, on Amazon. Yeah. Okay. But you haven't had these done professionally, what, in like five months now mm -hmm. since he retired? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I'm glad that we can get you in and help you with these. Yeah. Me too. Yeah, some people are just big callus formers, and like you said, it is hereditary. Usually you would see it on the hands as well. Yeah, my great-grandma had them in her nails. Okay. Or if we still use pencils and pens the way we used to. Right, I used to see, I... I used to have a big pencil callus. Yeah, right here. Yeah. Am I still in frame? So I'm going to do the big chunks with this blade and then I'll come back with my smaller one. Okay. Kind of fine tune it a little bit. So it's 
So you don't have any other patients like this? Not right now. Like I said, I used to. I had one man who used to come and every place that there was pressure on his feet, he had calluses like this. Mm -hmm. um, and he would come every six to eight weeks for the same thing. And there's just, there isn't a cure. It's just yeah. how you manage it. As you get older, I think they don't grow as fast. And my mom's and my grandma's have been slowing down. And I think it's the less movement. Yeah, being on your feet less, definitely. Mm Now, what kind of work do you do? Uh, I'm an analyst. So, mostly sedentary? Yeah. Okay, you're working from home these home, days? Yeah. And what do you wear on your feet when you're at home? Flip-flops. With decent support, or? Um, they'll do pretty run. No. Okay, because there are some that are really soft yeah. and the brands that I usually talk to people about are Vionic or Ufos or Hoka has some really soft sandals that you slip in and out of. Um, yeah, I, um, you know, your feet, because they like mold into what you're so they're comfortable and so it's like mm -hmm. hard to spread. Yeah, it's hard to start a new one. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'll get these with a smaller blade. So far. So far, the first time, uh, well, I used to have to have a, when I was younger, I used to have a curtain because I, I kind of passed out <laughs> with, I mean, I was young. So you've been having these trimmed like this since you were a kid? 11, yeah. Wow. Yeah, so you've had some of the best and some of the worst, I'm sure. Yeah, I had, I mean, my mom still goes to the same one. He had just graduated from college over. Are we out of? Yeah, he was great. He said that the, you know, the new um, podiatrists, they don't really do this. No. They won't. Yeah. Um, because you can't bill high enough for it. Mm -hmm. And, yeah. And that's kind of sad. That makes me kind of sad. None of the big clinic systems do right. this, yeah. do the, what would they call routine care. That's why I got that thing, because I thought it would be on my own. And then the last visit, he was like, I have something for you. Good. Okay, good. Well, yeah, I'm glad that you're here because these would have to be very painful to be walking on. Mm Now what I'm thinking is, just because I'm probably not going to be taking as much off the first time, because I haven't worked with you before, mm -hmm. that maybe our first follow-up, maybe let's do four weeks. Okay. Because um, I would rather take a little too little off than too much and make you bleed and make it hurt. Yeah. First time, I see. So you stop? Yeah.
You travel a lot? Yeah, we like to travel. We were supposed to be going to Israel tomorrow, but the, uh, they closed the borders. Did they? Mm -hmm. Huh? Two weeks ago. Oh, I didn't know that. Because of the Omicron. Yeah. When COVID hit, I had a photo trip planned to Vietnam oh. in September. Obviously, that got canned. Yeah. Of 2020. It's so nice of you to let me do this video. Yeah. I'll probably make each foot into a, its own video. And I think what I'm going to do is to get the heels. I'll put you. I'll put the back down. Have you turn on your stomach? Yeah, that's what they used to do. Okay. okay. See, all the great minds think alike. <laughs> So I'm going to have you just feel these and tell me if there's spots you want me to go a little bit deeper. Okay. No, no, much better. That is good? Okay. So I'm going to put a new blade on for the right foot. How old is your son that has this? Uh, he's 16. How old was your 16 year old when he started showing signs of this? 11. He was about the same age as About the same was. age as yeah. you. Yeah. He, he doesn't have them nearly, obviously, as bad as me. Uh -huh. Just around the heels. I assume that was your phone that was whistling at me. Mm -hmm. Do you need to grab it? No, it's okay. Okay. So my big joke with a lot of the old people when they come in and they have these big nails and stuff is, like, well, you're going to go home a pound or two lighter here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and all the viewers who have heard that 17,000 times just kind of roll their eyes. But in your case, <laughs> it might be accurate. I always, you would think, but it doesn't seem like Yeah. <laughs> So what exactly does an analyst do? Um, we do analyze data, like so you're just comparing. Um, I'm doing, we do contract negotiation. Who gets paid more? Yeah. 
can tell us why orthopedic surgeons get paid three times what we get paid for the same surgery. Really? Oh, yeah. Especially because I'm not part of a system. I don't have any negotiating power. Yeah, you don't have kind of, yeah. Um, you know, my billing person told me it's December of 2021 as we're filming. We just got paid on a pair of orthotics that we have been appealing since August of 2020. And they still won't pay me for the office visit where I spent 25 minutes with the person because they said podiatrists are not allowed to use that high of a code for an office visit. Well, there's no way that it says that. That's wild. Yeah. Yeah. So we're still appealing that. You know, welcome to our world. Yeah, you'd think the special, I mean, see, it hurts my foot right there when you spread my toes like that. Is yeah. that crazy? So you may have like a little inflamed nerve right in there. Yeah. Is it right there? Yep. Okay. Um, so there could be a bit of an inflamed nerve called a neuroma that sits there. Um, and I'll, I can do a little bit more of an exam when we're all done with this. I broke my ankle. Your left one? Mm -hmm. And then they saw tendonitis. So I went. And uh, it broke. Interesting. But not displaced not at all. Not displaced. So they no, just put it was you in just a boot. Like a little crack, yep. Okay. It still counts. She is a um, pre-med student who's been helping me out doing some treatments for people, and she's never dispensed orthotics before. If my big head gets in there, let me know. Yeah, I'll let you know. Okay. So when you come in for your appointments, I'm going to say, tell them it has to be a half hour appointment every time. Yep. There's no way I'm going to get this in a regular 15 minute regular oh, okay, appointment. Okay. Has got anything big planned for this winter? Oh, you were supposed to go to Israel. We're supposed to go. How long were you going to be there? Uh, two weeks till the 31st. Um, and, and I made a couple friends out of it, but no. Yeah. I'm I'm not Midwestern. Yeah. And it was 25 years ago when I was even less Midwestern. And uh, where are you from? Originally Southern California. Okay. I did all my school on the East Coast. Okay. Yeah, my family they all live in New York. Well, on my side. Is that where you grew up? No, I grew up. 
That's right, you said you might get. Far cry from New York City. It is. So how's your Hebrew? Mm. Not, <laughs> Not as good as it should be. We're trying. But I couldn't carry on a full conversation. I know words. How about you? There was a time when I was in high school that I was pretty close to fluent. Wow. Not anymore. How? From how? From Where I grew up in Los Angeles, we had what was called the LA Hebrew High School. Okay. And so you did your after school Hebrew school. And then if you wanted to go on, there was the LA Hebrew High School. And um, yeah, so I made some really good lifelong friends there and learned Hebrew. Yeah. And then went to Israel when I was six. I turned 16 in, in Israel. Okay. Went on an ulpan. Um, yeah, but now. Ani shachachti et akol. See, I don't even remember. No, I forgot. I forgot it all. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot. I knew. I know. I knew was on. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. Is it recording? Because I turned uh, it off. It, I, it wasn't recording, so I just turned it on. Oh, okay. All right, and then. So I want you to feel all of this and tell me if you feel like I got enough or if there's spots you want me to. Welcome to part two of some of the most severe calluses that we've ever seen. Um, as we discussed previously, there is no cure for this and the best we can do is to just keep managing them and she will be in every one to two months for trimming. So hopefully we'll get to see lots more of this very nice lady. So without further ado, part two. All right, so I want you to feel all of this and tell me if you feel like I got enough or if there's spots you want me to go a little deeper. No, that's good. Okay. You, need to sleep down there? you are just fine, okay. right where you were. Are. baseboard heaters in here and sometimes they make noise. Uh, yeah. The other patient was telling me they're gonna get a windstorm today. Tonight, yeah, yeah, we're supposed to. Well that's right, they're from an hour and a half away. Yeah. South of here, yeah. I think Don's, um would just bill it as an office visit, but just level one, two, three, to, depending on the severity. So, um, does that make sense? It does. Okay. And now you can, now they change those codes. Oh. Um, so you can base it on time. Yep. Yeah, yeah, that's what I think he, because sometimes I notice that they don't. Okay. Well, and since you understand insurance billing. Yes. I can have a different conversation with you about it now. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we'll just try and replicate what he did. 
Yeah, I mean, obviously this one is going to be more the level. Because it's been so long. You had to be both looking forward to this appointment and dreading it. Yeah, I'm just, it'll be nice tomorrow. I'll go get a pedicure. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm just going to get a They try to put those, you know, the calcium remover, removal stuff on it. Mm -hmm. But they don't realize that it's not my whole foot, like that thin spot, you know, their skin, so it, it burns. So it's not so good. You mean when you go get a pedicure? Yeah, what they try to do the callus removal. Oh, they yeah. use the acid? Yeah, and oh. if they put it on my normal skin, it's... smooth them out while using a sander. Mm -hmm. That's what you did, yeah. Okay, good. Now, have you ever tried a urea cream on these, or a lactic acid cream to uh, try and break down some of the thick skin? I mean, I've tried a lot of creams. I'm not sure if I've tried those. Okay. Well, we, it's something we can talk about later. Yeah. Because um, there are some that are for thick calluses, and we can even probably create one from a compounding pharmacy. That could help the goal being not that they won't come back the goal being that we can keep you out of here longer in between visits okay yeah um yeah they'll, they'll never go away no thank you mom thank you grandma mm -hmm. <laughs> and you kind of wonder evolutionarily like what was the benefit to some poor caveman that had calluses like this, like, what did that help that then got selected for and passed down? Yeah. Yeah. Just thankful that we don't have to wear high heels in well, you know, even when I first started working, so that was in the 90s, yeah. I would talk with women in retail who had to wear pumps and heels. Right, that, I mean, that's my that's my ground. If you think about her walking around New York City with the heels and these feet. Yeah, that would be tough. I mean, but even back then, people, the women walking around New York would wear sneakers Pennies, yeah, and then that's change true. when they got to work. But yeah. imagine having to work retail and standing on feet with calluses like yours. Yeah. That would be unbearable.
I really am feeling like I didn't get enough off of these. Do you want to just sit up and feel those? Yeah, yeah, you can do more than here. Okay. So. Yeah, yeah. Okay. No other health issues, according to your no your health form. Okay. Not taking any meds. No. This would be considered like a form of ichthyosis. What's, what's that? Ichthyo ichthyosis refers to a condition where you have very thick, scaly skin. Um, this isn't scaly, but it's just unusually thick mm -hmm. where there's pressure. So I wonder if this would maybe be considered a form of that. I don't know. Curious the part where we talked about. Do you want me to edit that part out? Yeah. Will you? Can I, Can we do um, like edit all my personal stuff? Absolutely. Like what I work. Like when I'm talking about my work. Oh, sure. Yep. Certainly. I mean, if you, I don't know. Then. Keep in the part if it's okay where we talked about your 16 year old who has this. Yep, that's fine. Okay. But yeah, everything else. Yeah, anything that would be identified would help yeah. them for any reason, but anything my personal stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Happy to do that. Well, I'm just so grateful yeah. that you let me video this. It's just, it's unusual, but you know that there are other people out there suffering with it who just aren't doing anything for it except suffering. Yeah. Yeah. Well, if they go to, you know, luckily we had it <clears throat> in our family. I don't know if we're lucky, but so we knew, you know, but these days they, they say the podiatrists don't. Well, this is called, this is part of what is, I mean, this is different, but oftentimes this is pairing of calluses and corns and is considered routine. And most insurances, unless you're diabetic or have peripheral vascular disease, won't pay for it. Mm -hmm. And um, the podiatrist coming out of residency right now, one of my big beefs is that they just want to do surgery. Yeah, that's what you like. That's what thumbs yeah. yeah, and if that's what you want to do, then why aren't you an MD orthopedist, mm -hmm. you know? Because we do so much more and we understand the mechanics so much better, supposedly. And, um, but the, the younger podiatrists coming out don't want anything to do with that. So, most of them. Mm -hmm. There are some. Once we work on these a little bit and they start to get a little bit sweaty, the sander will do less and less. 
Um, so I'm not sure how smooth around the edges we're going to get here, but do what I can. That was a workout, yeah, for both of us, I'm sure. Um, but is there anything that I missed? Anything that? Okay. So one thing that I just want to point out to people watching this is, yes, you're going to say, oh, you could have gotten so much more. But underneath this yellow callus skin, there's good skin, and you can only go so far before it bleeds. So we're doing it to your comfort level, and. Uh, all right, so let's try having you back in a month. Okay. And then after that, we'll go back to your usual six weeks okay. and see if we can come up with any great ideas to lengthen it even more. But if not, we'll do six. Okay. Okay? Thank you. Well, thank you for letting us do this video. Yes. And sharing, you know, your issue. Um, and we'll see you next year. Okay.